Libra. This will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 3rd through January the 4th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for January the 3rd through January the 4th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Libra for January the 3rd through January the 4th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Libra for January the 3rd through January the 4th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Libra. These are your cards, honey. So, Libra, you have the Fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the Fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey, to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So, Libra, could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Libra. Clarify the fool for Libra. Clarify the fool for Libra. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Libra could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own. Or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Libra. Clarify the star for Libra. Clarify the star for Libra. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Libra, listen, you're telling me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. Now Libra, listen, you can tell me that you want to take this leap of faith. You want to follow your destiny here, but you're stuck. You want to set out on this brand new journey. Could be some type of travel also, but you're stuck. You could also tell me that they took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship and you're needing to heal individually on your own and you're just blocking them out. Libra, you have the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a Ten, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So Libra, you're telling me that something is difficult, something is heavy and burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Libra. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Libra. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Libra. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, Replaying things over and over in your mind. Losing sleep at night. Worried about something. Goodness. So Libra, you're all up in your head. Stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep. Bothered by something here. Now Libra, listen. You can tell me that you're anxious to release this burden and just set out on a brand new journey and follow your destiny. But you seem to be stuck in your head. You can tell me that 
this burden is just bothering you. It, it really is doing a number on you here. And it very well could be that this burden is that they took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. And you're really needing to heal and get out of your head concerning it. Libra, you have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Libra. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Cups. For Libra, it is clarified with the Four of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So Libra, listen, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Goodness, Libra, either someone is coming and trying to apologize to savage you guys' already established commitment, or someone has commitment in this proposal on the brain here. Is it you? Is this that leap of faith you're wanting to take here? But you're kind of stuck and... Carrying something heavy and all up in your head about it? What? Libra, you have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lusts, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. Could be dealing with a Leo. But you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back. Or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Libra. Clarify strength for Libra. Clarify strength for Libra. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. Goodness. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. You know, you can tell me that you're trying to muster the strength and courage to recover and heal here, Libra. Libra, you can tell me that you're trying to be strong, that you guys are on a break. But I'm going to tell you, you're in your head. You're in your head on your bed concerning this libra libra you have the two of swords gemini libra aquarius this is you needing to make a decision but you're in the dark about some things some things you just refuse to see refuse to acknowledge a lack of information block communication so it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position but this is also a card of you being closed off blocked off not wanting to see wanting to ignore wanting to turn a blind eye so Libra, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Clarify the two of swords for Libra. Clarify the two of swords for Libra. Clarify the two of swords for Libra. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys as a relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Libra, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment for Libra. Clarify judgment. For Libra, clarified judgment. For Libra, it is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Libra, you can tell me that you guys had some immature, premature communication, or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Libra. Clarify the page of swords for Libra. Clarify the page of swords for Libra. It is clarified with strength again. Like I said, could be dealing with a Leo. But you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back. Or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Libra. Clarify strength for Libra. Clarify strength for Libra. It is clarified with you, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, the Queen of Swords. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Libra, this is you. Clarify the queen of swords for Libra. Clarify the queen of swords for Libra. What about Libra? What about Libra? Clarify the Queen of Swords for Libra. Libra, you're at the bottom of the deck. Oh, gosh, I can't even put it down. You're at the bottom of the deck here. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Libra, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. You know, Libra, you can tell me that you went looking and spying. And your judgment is to block this person off, cut them off, and end things. Yes. Because you could have found that. They took a risk or a chance and you're blocking them. You're just wanting to heal. But Libra, I feel like you're indecisive about a judgment call concerning going into commitment because there is the proposal right here. And for the time being, you may be meditating on it and kind of holding back, restraining yourself. Maybe you're wanting to just look into things, check them out and check over some things before you give an answer. Or this is just some type of preliminary communication. And for the time being, your judgment is to just hold back here from making a judgment call or a decision about going into commitment with this person. Because it seems like something is heavy on your mind here. I don't know if you actually went looking and spying and you saw something and that's the reason why you're kind of holding back. And that's the reason why you're in your head. Because you may want to take this leap. This very well may be your wish, but you're stuck and you're in your head and you're burdened by a situation. So you may have saw something, discovered something here that may be affecting your judgment because your original judgment may have just been yes. But something has told you to kind of hold back, wait, restrain yourself, think about it, look into it. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Libra. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, interlude, pause, timing factor. Interlude, pause, timing factor. Yeah, that's what you did. You're taking a pause. You're taking a pause. What else? For Libra. What else? For Libra. And it says, Archangel Michael, protection, prevent it from harm, divine intervention. Archangel Michael, protection, prevent it from harm, divine intervention over here. 
Much needed pause here. Protection. I think you're finding out something here. And this is the reason why you can't just jump and say yes. You're stuck. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Libra, this will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 3rd through January the 4th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.